If you're looking to whip up a Christmas sweet in a snap, this coconut toffee is just what you need. Hi, and welcome back to Plating with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed already, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. A tip here is that before you start cooking your coconut toffee is to prep your cake pan. I'm using an 8 by 8 inch cake pan and I've lined it with parchment paper. Now we're going to keep this aside. We're going to go in with 180 grams which is 2 cups of desiccated coconut and I'm using a fine desiccated coconut. And we're making this coconut toffee for Christmas so let's make it a little decadent. We're going to go in with 2 tablespoons of milk powder and 2 tablespoons of cashew nut powder. And to bring out all the flavors, we're going to add quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to give it a mix so that all the ingredients gets well distributed. Okay, now that the prep work is all done, let's go over to the stove and bring our coconut toffee together. To a cool pot, we're going to add 290 grams of sugar, which is basically one and a half cup. And to that, we're going to add half a cup of room temperature water. And for a traditional flavor, we're going to add two tablespoons of rose water. We're going to switch on the stove and on a medium heat, we're going to allow the sugar to melt without touching it. If you put a spoon in it and stir it, it's going to start crystallizing on you. Now for this, we're going to be using a candy thermometer because we want to get the sugar to a softball stage, which is basically allowing it to come to a temperature of 235 degrees Fahrenheit or 113 degrees centigrade. You can see that the sugar has started to melt and we're getting a little bubbles. Occasionally, if you want it, you could just give it a swirl so that the sugar, which is stuck at the bottom and has not yet melted, can move around. Now, using a candy thermometer, we're going to check the temperature. Okay, we've reached 235. I'm going to show you, if you don't have a candy thermometer, how you can find out whether the sugar syrup is done. Is that take a bowl of cold water and a little bit of the syrup in a teaspoon and you're going to drop it into the water. And when you find that it's forming like strings in the water, you know it's done. Now we're going to lower the heat and add in one or two drops of pink food coloring. Since I'm using a gel food coloring, I'm going to go in with one drop. And now we're going to give it a stir so that the color gets evenly distributed. And now to that, we're going to add the desiccated coconut mix. And we're going to give it a quick stir. And we're going to flavor it with quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder. Now we're going to switch the stove on back to medium heat and we're going to cook it just for about a minute or two. Now the desiccated coconut is going to absorb all the delicious flavors that we have added in. Our coconut toffee is all ready. Let's take it off the heat and put it into our prepared pan. Now using a spatula, we're going to spread it out into the cake pan and we're going to gradually push it into all the corners. This coconut toffee is practically the easiest and the quickest Christmas treat to prepare. We're going to level out the coconut toffee and allow it to cool. Now that our coconut toffee has cooled down a little bit, we're going to use these overhangs that we had left while lining the cake tray and we're going to remove it so that we can mark it before we cut it. So first we're going to mark the center and we're just going to eyeball that. And now we're going to divide each of the halves into three. Once again eyeballing it. We're just going to mark it only on the top because we're going to give the deep cuts later on once it has set. You could either cut it in cubes, rectangles or diamonds. I'm going to go in with the diamond shape. So we're just going to mark it ever so lightly because we'll cut it deeper later on. By doing this, it becomes easier to cut it once it sets. Our coconut toffee has cooled and so now it's time to cut it into pieces. I've just applied a little butter on the edge of the knife so that it helps to go right through. And we're going to cut it along the lines that we had marked. Now that we've finished cutting the strips, let's cut the diamonds. And what's Christmas without some silver and gold decorations? I whipped up some royal icing. We're just going to put a little dot of it on each one. And to finish off our coconut toffee, let's place a silver edible bead on the top. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
And now it's time to give our coconut toffee a taste. Wow. Mm. This coconut toffee is absolutely delicious. It's got that lovely hint of the rose water. I'm telling you, you've got to try this recipe. And if you want to enjoy it as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.